sensitivity and awareness in city policies and programs, recognizing the importance of understanding and respecting the cultural practice and traditions of Muslim women. As recently we celebrated World Hijab Day in City Hall. That is our victory, right? We celebrated the Eid last year in Gracie Mansion. We are now to raise our flag in Ball Green. So that's all initiative made by our mayor. This includes efforts to provide culturally competent services, language access, and education on issues relevant to Muslim community. Through these efforts, Mayor Eric Adam has demonstrated his commitment to advancing the rights and opportunities of Muslim women in New York City, creating a more inclusive and equitable city where all residents have the opportunity to thrive. Now it's my pleasure to invite an intense mayor of New York City, my brother and your brother, one and only Mr. Eric Adam. <laughs> Thank you so much, Atia, and the women of Paso who have always stood firm throughout not only the community here, but throughout the entire city. And I remember years ago as ball president meeting you for the first time. You were always focused on lifting up Muslim women and making sure they're accessed. Uh, let me be clear on this. It breaks my heart to see what's playing out in Gaza. Breaks my heart to see what's playing out in Yemen. All, way, all the way back during September 11th, right here on Coney Island, standing with this community, fighting against Islamophobia. All the way back when women were attacked for wearing a hijab, we stood side by side. When they called for a Muslim ban, we had the largest protest at Brooklyn Borough Hall in support. The history is true and history is rich. We will continue to build in this city and our voices together will stop war across the entire globe. No child, no innocent person should be the victim of violence. I've said that throughout my entire life and I will continue to say that. Ramadan is a period of reflection. Today, I was on Rikers Island with a group of inmates to get rebaptized, to renew my faith. And I ask you all, as we reflect on Ramadan, let's renew our faith. Allah and God will judge. It is not man's job to judge. We must lift up ourselves. We know how to be involved in war. Now let's show how we be involved in peace. We know how to hate. Now let's show how to love. We know how to have conflict. Now let's show how we come together and have unity. Man has shown us to how to be destructive. We need women to show us how to be protective. That is your role here today as women. No baby should die no matter what community they come from, no matter what faith they come from, no matter what area of the globe they come from. Only you know how important it is to protect children. It is not women that's dropping bombs. It's not women that's doing things destructive. It's not women that's tearing our globe apart. It is not women that is seeing the infliction of violence. It is women that is trying to lift us up. The same women as my mother that lifted me up. I greet you in the way that I, I leave in the way I greet you. Assalamu alaikum to you. Where am I sitting? Welcome over here, Mr. Abbott. Thank you. A big round of applause.